We're all about facts, not fear, and looking like beat poets. Yeah, we kind of do. We do. The doctor is in with some info. Yeah. All right. Uh, Dr. File <laughs> Coley joins us live, and she's in on the beat poet kind of look, striped, dark, moody colors. I like it. Uh, before we get to the viewer questions, all the talk today is about L.A., saying their lockdown might be going until August. We talked about this earlier, but we wanted to bring it back. So could you, uh, Dr. Coley, tell us, is this a warning to the rest of the country? You know, more than a warning, I would say LA is really setting an example for us. They're telling us how to do it right. You wait, you get the testing, the tracing, the PPE, the hospital resources all lined up, and that's when you open. And as we heard Dr. Fauci say yesterday, if we open too quickly, we're going to have preventable deaths and uncontrollable spread. So in my opinion, it makes a lot more sense to be slow and steady and really calculated in how we open. And you know how I think of it, you guys, is like the, the turtle and the hare. You remember that story? Yes. Slow and steady when the race yeah so that's how we have to think about it wasn't it a tortoise uh, it was a tortoise and I just thought that was such a silly race tortoise to have the turtle? odds of the tortoise winning were just it's, there was no point in even having there that were holes race. in that story yeah there were holes in that story well what, what's what is the difference between a turtle and a tortoise I don't really know it's a good point that's a very good point I think tortoises are huge and mean yeah it's okay, okay. Your turn. let me read my story uh, read, read my question uh, Taylor asks if an infected person is eating at a restaurant can the virus spread to the other customers Customers getting uh, getting on the servers masks or gloves absolutely Taylor in fact not mm. only can it get mm. on the gloves it can also travel through the air and you remember we talked about this this article out of China a few weeks ago where one infected person shown in yellow actually infected every nine other people oh. in the restaurant because of the air conditioning and the airflow. So you can imagine as we're thinking about how to open up our country again, we may be moving to you know a situation where we actually have outdoor restaurants only because we know that the spread of the virus is more Whoa. efficient indoors than it is outdoors. Wow, it's all fresco all the time. All right, our last question comes from Karen. She asks, is it safe to take her dog to the groomer we've heard that humans can transmit COVID-19 to animals it is true it's becoming an increasing concern from the CDC so at this point you know given all the unknowns I wouldn't take my dog to the groomer wow. taking him to the vet is a different story if they need to go for medical care but grooming is elective I would put that off let the dog go mm. shaggy that's what we're doing with Barnaby that's right he looks ridiculous yeah. all right before we go Al it's time for Dr. Coley silver lining silver lining y'all <laughs> today you want to talk about the new <laughs> policy Twitter is implementing for their employees I saw this tell us all about it so Jack Dorsey, who's the CEO of Twitter, actually tweeted out that he's going to give employees the option to work from home forever. And I think this is super cool because it does a number of positive things. The first is it actually reduces the stress for people who have kids at home and have to worry about daycare. Or like Tori, if you're a dog mom and have to worry Thank about you. walking your dog during the day. <laughs> Um, there's less commuting, so you have to worry less about the environmental pollution and the stress of rush hour, which I know I would love. And then, of course, it saves the company money because they don't have to have office space and they can hire people from all across the country. So I think it's just really cool that he's setting this example and other companies may follow and just lots of positives coming out of this move. You see leaders emerge in business, and can I uh, say that Jack Dorsey has become mm -hmm. someone that I've kept my eye on. Not only that, I think he sleeps like a minute a night and eats only yes. like grass. He's a really weird specimen but I love the policy as well much more flexible and it means that you're not micromanaging so I so appreciate that Dr. Coley thank you of course you'll be back tomorrow but tomorrow we'll look a little bit different because Dr. Coley is going to walk us through how to live our lives safely as more states actually open back up so that includes being safe when going back to work or even going to the dentist. I thought about that. I actually like our dentist. I do too. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, so don't miss it. 